So we're just going to do a quick review of all the major components of a sprinkler system. Uh, so in here we have a standpipe, and down in there is a stop and waste valve. It looks like this, or something similar, and then it has a waste port on the bottom. So we, we use that to isolate the sprinkler system in the winter so we can blow it out with an air compressor and then um, the water wastes back through here from the backflow. Uh, and then we have the backflow over here. So the water travels from there to the backflow. And this is an insulation bag. And this is your uh, pressure reducer valve to get the pressure down to reasonable level. Um, then you have a, your backflow. This one's a vacuum pressure vacuum breaker. Um, and then there's one other style, which is a, called an RP. That's also a backflow device. Uh, this one's a lot more expensive and it just depends on where or, uh, where your highest sprinkler head is. <clears throat> that determines if it's this style or this style. And then we have um, copper pipe over to your valves. And then in here, um, you get grease caps, uh, your solenoids, a um, little bleeder valve, and then those run out to your zones. And that's pretty much the main components except for the uh, sensor and uh, controller. Okay, and the final component is the controller. Uh, yours is going to be a little bit smaller than this, but uh, it's going to look pretty much pretty similar. But also attached to the controller is going to be a sensor. And it's either going to be a rain sensor or a solar sink like this one. And the solar sink adjusts the controller by percentage, the run times by percentage, so it saves you water and it does that every day.